We read this morning from the fifth chapter, or the 21st chapter of Luke. Some of his disciples were talking about how the temple was adorned with beautiful stones and the gifts dedicated to God. And Jesus said, as for what you see here, the time will come when not one stone will be left on another. Every one of them will be thrown down. Teacher, when will these things happen? What will be by the sign that they are about to take place? And he said, watch out, that you are not deceived. Many will come in my name, claiming I am he, and the time is near. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened. These things must happen first. But the end will not come right away. And he said to them, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes, famines, and pestilence in various places, terrible events, and great signs from heaven. But before all of this, they will lay hands on you and persecute you. They will deliver you to the temples and the prisons. You will be brought before kings and governors, all because of my name. This will result in your being witnesses to them. Make up your mind not to worry ahead of time how you will defend yourselves. I will give you words and wisdom that none of your enemies will be able to resist or belie. You will be betrayed by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. All men will hate you because of me, but not one hair on your head will perish. By standing firm, you gain life. The word from the Lord in the house of the Lord. Difficult topic. There are places in this world where Christians are rounded up, beheaded, tortured, buried, and we have relative freedom here. Oh, we can't, uh, we can't march down the street and block traffic and shout that Jesus is coming, nor can we be one with those who shout the end of the world's coming because we got wars, we got famine, we got pestilence, we've had earthquakes. All of the signs. But like the seasons, the signs repeat themselves. We don't know which is the final sign. We know that we just entered fall or autumn because the wind is blowing from the north again. That's how you can tell the weather here. When it's spring, the wind starts blowing from the south again. It brings back all the trash that blew away when it <laughs> blew the other way. How will we know that the time has come? The only way we'll know is to pray and await and be surprised. Oh, there are times, just like now, where we know the end is in inevitable and we know that it's, it's timed and we know it's just about here, but for most of us, we won't have a sign. It'll just be here. So we have to trust that we will be, yeah, we'll be chastised, we'll be made fun of wherever we are because we are Christians. People will, they won't spit on us. We're a very polite society. We won't do things like that. We probably won't be locked up for our belief. But there will be people who stay away from us because we're one of them. We got to remember we're not one of them, we are one of his. And believe in the faith that we have that will transport us ultimately to the heavenly place. Paul wrote to the church at Thessalonica and said, beware of idleness. Beware of the people who sit around and still spout off what wonderful people they are. He said, pay your own way. Keep busy in the name of the Lord. That's what we ask you to do. That's what we've taught you to do. How can you do anything else if you've listened to our teachings? It's hard, though. There are days when it's very difficult to not give in and almost give up. But the people were ready 
When they spoke to Jesus, they were ready to throw in the towel. They were ready to give it up. And he said, no, no. I need you to be true to you and be true to him. I need you. That's what he tells us. In all of the words that we get, he needs each one of us to tell another that Christ is real, Christ is alive, Christ is part of our life. And if we take a little ridicule because we're holier than them, well, tough. We can stand it. We don't need to try to lord it over anyone because we're, quote, better. No, we're different. We're different. They'll know we are Christians by our love. Ken's going to play a concert Friday night. It's, it's here, isn't it? What's that? It's here already, yes. isn't it? And you're ready. I can tell. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's ready. Why are you doing that? Love? Why are you doing that? Am I doing this? No. <laughs> that, that comes later. Why are you playing a concert? To support the food bank. Why do we support a food bank? All right. We care about others. We care about others. Our mission budget, including the food pantry, which is a biggie, is over $75,000 a year. We spend more on them than you spend on me. I'm glad of that. They deserve it. They deserve it. No, we can... We can parcel things out. We can, we can divide our life into what it, what this part, this, this lowly, worldly part, and that part we give to Christ. But if we don't keep moving more of our worldly stuff into the, our, our relationship with Christ, we're losing that relationship that he has for us. It is a heavenly relationship. It is a really de defining and magnifying relationship. Use your prayers. Use your thoughts. Use your gifts. I don't mean just money and I don't mean just canned goods, though we love those for the food pantry, but your gifts of being present here, of being present in the life of someone who needs you, being, being aware of those around you and the needs that they have. He said, the temple will be destroyed, no stone left unturned. And the Romans did that. But like his kingdom, it was rebuilt. Like his kingdom, it's standing the test of time. Like his kingdom, it is eternal. It may fall down again and be rebuilt, but his kingdom is forever. Oh, there'll be wars and rumors of war, there'll be Pestilence, there'll be epidemics like COVID and things like that. But we don't know, we have no way to read the signs and know that the day has come. And the wonderful thing to remember is that everyone has the day. Not everyone has one day. So go in peace and live the life that you have. Be one with Christ and let the world know that you are. That's all he asks. That's all he wants. I'm done. Amen. Amen. Live the life that you live, loving Christ in all that you do. Go in his peace, that peace that passes all understanding. His love, his peace.